So now that we've got to a point where we are capable of calling a replace state, a push state, we've understand how to feature detect, we've learned how to push an item into our state in the history object and also navigate to a new URL based on the ID of an item. What we want to do is set up a render function, which is then going to accept that particular player that we want to render. So above our init function, we're going to create const render. This is then going to take the state. So it doesn't matter what we want to call this. I'm just going to call it the state. You can call it data or something if you'd like. And what we need to do is create an injection slot so that we can render that particular item. So if we go into our multi-line string, we can say div class equals, and I'm just going to call this the info, which means that we need to now underneath our players array, create an info equals document dot query selector and go and grab that info class. So we can keep things nice and simple. We can say info dot inner HTML. And every time we render, we're then going to pass in some new data. So the data that we're going to pass in is simply going to demonstrate the player's name as well as the bio. So we just need to reference those two properties. So first we're going to create an h3. Underneath we can create a nice p tag. Now because our state object is available, we can then interpolate state.name and then underneath we can interpolate the state.bio. So that's quite nice and simple and that should finish things off. We can then clear out our URL. We can hit enter and you can see that we have Mario and we have the information Italian plumber and lead character. So that's a nice quick and easy lesson. Now in the next one, what we're going to do is set up some links that will enable us to select the particular character. And then we're going to introduce the push state API again, alongside some click events that we can add to our navigation. So that's it. Let's dive into the next lesson.